Hey D, how about this one? 1966 Ford Mustang Shelby GT350 Tribute, done in an amazing dark blue metallic, silver GT350 stripes, fiberglass hood. And this thing was built to drive too with four wheel disc brakes. You're kidding, four wheel disc brakes? Four wheel disc brakes, five speed manual transmission. Before you open up, just check out how the back of the hood and stuff fits. Paint on this is gorgeous. I love that they went with the GT350 front on it as well. So many people don't ever change that stuff. They just put the stripes on it and call it a Shelby clone. Wow. Air conditioning, power steering, Willwood four wheel disc brakes. Set of headers on here. Looks like electronic ignition. Top of the fenders are absolutely perfect. Wow, this thing's got it all. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful little Mustang. I think I read on this one as well that it's original, a dark blue car with a blue interior. I think that's exactly how it came from the factory. Really? Yeah. As we look up and down the side, super straight, GT350, painted silver stripes down here at the bottom. Looks like that's painted on, it feels like. BFG tires, Willwood disc brakes. I like those rims a lot too. Especially going down the road, this thing just looks modern. Pretty much is modern with the disc brakes, steering, air. As we go hit down here to the lower quarter, up over the wheel well is excellent. Bottom of the door lines up great to the back of the quarter. Don't see any bubbles or blisters anywhere on it. Even though this is an older restoration, it's still gorgeous. The top of the door handles and stuff are beautiful. Doors open nice. Looks like we need just a little more. Yeah, there's a little clip here that came out on the top of that um, door rubber. Bottom corner of the door is great. When they did the restoration, they repainted all the, uh, the silver blue here with the uh, darker blue inserts on the door panels. Headliner is excellent. Got the fold down rear seat. Back seat's excellent condition. It's got the seat belts in the back. It's got the racing seat belt lap belts in the front. Five speed manual transmission. And that just makes it so nice for the interstate and the highway. It's got the Shelby GT um, 350 steering wheel, wood grain wheel. Looks like we do have a little, that's nice. We got a little, both of the colors here. A little of the dark blue and a little bit of the silver. Stereo works well. Got the aftermarket speakers right here. Carpet's really nice. They did a great job on the shifter. Looks like they got a Hurst shifter in here. Um, it's got the rally pack, 26,519 uh, 26, miles on the odometer. Guessing it's original 126,000 mile car. Very solid, bumper to bumper. Dash pad is excellent, rear view mirror, and the uh, visors are very nice and tight as well. I like the window tint too. No, they're just Oh yeah. Great look, tint the back glass, got a slight tint on the side glass. It's got the uh, GT350 emblems, it's got the uh, matching gas cap, even the back balance. Look how nice the paint is on that. So many people skimp around the edges. This is, a, they did a great job. Yeah, they did. Back of the trunk lid lines up nice. They went ahead and uh, looks like they put all new chrome and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. This might be original still. It's in good shape though, if it is. Stripes line up nice. Trunk lid does too. So we look up down the driver's side, very nice and straight. I love the, the rear window louvers in these 1965s and sixes. 
Um, the chrome on the louvers is excellent. We do have just a little tiny little bit of stress crack in the paint right there. Um, over top of the roof is gorgeous. Yeah, this is one of my favorite cars on the lot right now. You know, I always, always this is my think second favorite. My favorite is the 72 Kuda. Kuda. Yeah. yeah. I mean, those two are kind of neck and neck, um, in my opinion. But yeah, I always, I always love the five and six fastbacks. Love being better with the five speed. And we got a 67 coming in today too, a red fastback. Um, there's your Will Woods on the back with the BFGs. Like Dalton says, great looking tires, you know, and wheels to fit this car. I mean, you can do your own choice if you want, but I think it fits it really well. The main chip on this whole entire car is right here on the door. Other than that, the bottom of the door matches up really nicely and lines up. There's nothing, but just look how nice the doors open. And as soon as they open, the courtesy lights all come on. Just a quality car. Yeah, it is. Factory tags right there. Under the dash lights work. Now we went ahead on this. Um, when it came in, um, the door tag and VIN all matched the title perfectly. But uh, when the car was restored, the inner fender aprons were replaced, which is a lot of times that happens on these Mustangs. We could have sold it the way it was, but uh, you know, just in case a guy has a problem retitling it, we went ahead and got a Iowa assigned VIN number. So it's got a perfectly transferable title um, and you won't have any issues or problems with that inner fender apron being replaced. Door jams are awesome. Just a fantastic car, front and back. Interior is awesome on it as well. I'm kind of jealous that you and Dave got to drive it the other day and not me. I was pretty impressed with it. It really pulled. Now well, there'll be better days to drive these things. All right, here we go. So we're driving a 1966 Ford Mustang Fastback Resto Mod today. Um, Dave's with me. Dalton's homesick. So hey guys. Um, this is a really cool Resto Mod. It's a five-speed manual transmission, power steering, four-wheel Willwood disc brakes. The brakes are absolutely perfect. Um, our alignment's really nice. It's got the uh, rally pack here. Um, tachometer works, gas gauge works. Oil pressure is way up on the high side. Amp gauge works. I love the color of this one. Yeah, this is a really cool car. Dark blue, silver stripes. Steering wheel, kind of the whole nine yards on it. So, really cool car. 